Hello again, guys. It's good to talk to you. It's been a little while. Uh, we've got quite a few things to talk about today in today's update. And so please bear with me for the length. It's going to be a little bit lengthy. And also please bear with me as I read a lot of the stuff. I want to make sure that I get all the information correct. Okay. Um, over the last few days, I've received quite a few texts and emails regarding getting stuff out of your band lock in the band room. Okay. So let's, let's start. Firstly, I know that you were sent a schedule by the William Blunt High School administrative team regarding your locker cleanouts. Okay. With that in mind, Mr. Clark has given permission for me to allow students to come into the band room to pick up the materials from their band lockers. Okay, I thought it would be best if I could, if we could match the days of this, that the school sent out. In other words, seniors on Monday, juniors on Tuesday, etc. However, if you can't make it on your designated date for the band locker pickup, please let me know so we can arrange an alternate date or time. Okay, anything not taken from the band room by next Friday will either be thrown away. Or donate it unless you can let me know why you can't pick it up. But that, and one of the reasons for that, with the band room is undergoing a complete makeover right now. New carpet, new ceiling tiles, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we're going to be pretty much be starting from new in there. All right. So here is our band room schedule for for pickup next week. On Monday, May 11th, will be seniors. That's from nine o'clock until noon. On Tuesday, May 12th, will be juniors. Once again, from 9 a.m. until noon. Wednesday. May 13th, sophomores, once again from 9 o'clock in the morning until noon, and Thursday, the 14th, for freshmen, from 9 o'clock in the morning until noon. I know that the the rest of the school is also doing another designated time that afternoon. I'm, I'm, I just, I'm not going to stay at the band room all day, okay? Once again, if those dates don't work for you, or times, let me know so we can arrange something alternate, okay? Now, there's a few parameters we have to uh, make sure that we follow while there. Number one, no more than 10 people in the band room at one time. That's all, okay? I'm going to have to probably stand at the door and make sure that we don't have any more than that, okay? No loitering. You can't stay and talk to people or even talk to me or anything like that. You simply have to go in, get your stuff, and go back out. It's very, very important that you do that, okay? Mr. Clark, I think, has really bent to let us get back into the bedroom to get the stuff, so let's make sure that we follow his orders on stuff, okay? Uh, Park in a regular parking place when you come to the school. Don't park on the curb outside the banner or anything like that because there's going to be other traffic going on as far as other people in the school coming to get their stuff because I think the, they, the administrators have cleaned out other lockers and put things in bags just for a pickup, okay? So you can't park on the curb. Park in a regular parking area, okay? A parking space to come into the band room, okay? And once again, if these times don't work for you, let me know. So please, let's keep, keep that in mind, okay? Uh, if you currently have a school horn checked out and would like to keep it over the summer, simply text or email me that instrument serial number just so I can get inventory updated. Okay? Please do that within the next few days. Okay? Let's don't, let's don't let it linger and linger. If you would like to check out a horn during one of your locker cleanout days, that would be a perfect time to do it, okay? What we'll do is we'll go ahead and get your horn, get it checked out, and then once you get home, you can email the serial number back to me, okay? It's just important that we, once we move through things as quickly as what we possibly can, okay? If you're wanting to return a horn and don't keep it during the summer, your locker cleanout day would also be a perfect time for that, okay? With that being said, I'm trying right now to put my thoughts together for next fall. Okay, I want to make sure that my roster is fairly correct. Please let me know the text, email, if you are not planning on being with us in the fall, or if you know someone from last year's group that is not going to be back, that may not be getting these updates or may not have been enrolled for the spring semester. Okay, I'm going to go back and try to also include last year's uh, last semester's marching band within this uh, also, but I don't know what luck I'll have. So if you can help me with that, it would be great. Okay, it will help my planning greatly. So once again, if you are not coming back, or if you know somebody not coming back for the fall, please let me know. No hard feelings or anything. I'm just trying to get everything uh, put together. Okay? Let's move on to drum major auditions. In one of my previous messages, I would said anybody that's, that's, that wants to audition for drum major, please let me know, okay? So far, I've received, I think, responses from five or six students, which is great, okay? Indicating they would like to audition for drum major. With that being said, I will be sending links to the national anthem and another audition piece within the next week, okay? On a given date, I will have you send me a video of you conducting each of these two pieces, both the national anthem and the audition piece. From there, myself and our, my staff will look at the video and we'll make a decision on our selections. Okay? I would just like you to know, I would like you to know we want to have this finished by the first week of June. So be on the lookout for the link to the music within the next few days. And this will not be something I'll send out to everyone. This is just something I'm going to send out to those students who want to try out for drum major. Okay? Uh, you know, and once again, this is the strangest of times. I've never done auditions by, for drum major by this, okay, like this. So 
there you go. So once again, if you're interested, please, if you and haven't let me know, please let me know. And then if you've let me know, be on the lookout for the, for the uh, links to the music files as well as further directions. Okay. Now, I think I'd mentioned something about doing a, maybe a show reveal today. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay. Uh, well, no, first. First, I got I got I got to do something else. That, that that I did not do that on purpose, by the way. Uh, before we do the show reveal, I just like to take a moment to thank all of our seniors. Okay, I don't think anyone have, could have predicted this last part of the year turning out the way it did. Okay, I've tried my best to stay positive about everything. I hope you have too. Okay. Uh, I look back on your four years and realize how much you've accomplished. And I think you need to do that too. Uh, you know, I'm very proud of your achievements, both musical and also non-musical. Uh, you've grown as musicians, and probably even more importantly, you've grown as people. Okay, these are things that you should be very, very proud of. I don't know if you'll ever know how proud I am of you because you have done so many great things for the band, for me, and for our school. Uh, as we move forward, please remember that you will continue to be an important part of the WBHS High School Band. You know that we always welcome our alumni back with open arms. There's nothing that I enjoy much more than having an alumni come back to me at ball games or come by to see me at school. Okay, It is because of your work and dedication to our program that this band has developed into what it is. You, know, you may not realize it, the w, William Blunt High School Band is a very highly respected organization. Our younger students in our band will model their future behaviors on what they witnessed from you. That's how great band programs are built. Be assured, you've done your part. Okay, once again, seniors, thank you. Now, on to the show reveal. Since this will be my last marching show as a director, I wanted to go out with something very, very special. I always try to find a great show, but this, this one really means a lot to me. Over the last month, I've assembled probably over a dozen complete shows and then looked at them and disliked every one of them. I just couldn't figure out a way to make each, any, one, any one of them work the way that I wanted to. I've gone anyway, anywhere, anywhere from a Christmas show to a show about color to a show about dances. None of them worked, okay? However, my wife and I just got through finished watching a Netflix miniseries entitled Hollywood Land. I can't recommend it to you guys to watch. I think you're a little bit too young, but it, it, it was really good, okay? It was a series that dealt with the movies from the, of the 1940s that were referred to as Film noir, or film dark, okay? Film noir is a cinematic term used to describe stylish Hollywood crime dramas, okay? With that in mind, our marching show for the fall will be somewhat of a salute to the film noir style. With all that being said, the title for this upcoming fall's marching show will be entitled The Three M's. Mayhem, Madness, and Murder. A salute to film noir. While not all of the music from this year's show is from movies thought to be associated with that cinematic technique, all the music from this fall's show does sound like music from that kind of film. Okay, We will open up the show with the main theme to the 1976 film called Taxi Driver. This was Bernard Herrmann, my favorite composer of movie music. It was his final movie score. Once again, it's not a film that I can recommend for you to watch, but I can highly recommend you going to listen to the soundtrack. The actual title of the work, instead of just main theme to Taxi Driver, is called A Night Piece for Saxophone and Orchestra. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to open up the show with an alto saxophone solo with band accompaniment. It should be the perfect piece to set the mood for the show. At this point, we will move directly in, into another piece called Chase Scene. This is a piece for concert band written by Donald Hill. Donald Hill is a composer of band music and also is one of the leading drum corps arrangers in the world, or I say in the world, in DCI. Okay? He wrote this piece in the late 1990s and he gave it to me while it's still in manuscript. Okay? While once again, not exactly a piece of music from a piece that will that, that is film noir, it's a piece that will serve wonderfully to further set the mood of the show. So once again, we go from main theme to taxi driver to chase scene. That's going to bring us now to the middle portion of our show, which will be comprised of a, of a piece of music called the Love Theme from Chinatown. Okay, It's by the great film composer Jerry Goldsmith. And there's another piece that will be announced, and there's, following it, there's going to be another piece that will be announced later that will comprise the middle portion of our show. Okay, The Love Theme to Chinatown should absolutely be the perfect contrast to the high-energy chase scene. With one of the most beautiful trumpet solos ever in movie music, it should provide a great challenge and fulfillment for some of our players to work on. Okay, so once again, the love theme to Chinatown will be our third third part of our show. The fourth part, I'm still trying to fit in. Okay, but whatever that piece 
is, will also be a transition to the final portion of our show, which is the main theme to the 1960 Alfred Hitchcock classic, Psycho. If you've ever seen the shower scene with Janet Lee, okay, that's the movie, okay? Uh, it, it, it was written in 1960, once again, Bernard Herrmann, my favorite uh, composer of, of, uh, of movie music, it, here's to the rescue, uh, arrives at the rescue to, to once again deliver this piece of music. Okay? I'm not exactly sure how we'll end the show. However, I don't think it will be a problem with this kind of show theme. So, there you are. Your marching band show for the upcoming fall. I hope you like the concept, as well as the music that I've selected so far. You know, the three M's, murder, mayhem, and, and madness, I think has endless possibilities. Okay? I'd love to hear what you think about the show concept and also the music selections. Okay, if you have a piece of music that you would, that you think fits into this concept, let me hear about it. You know I'm always open for good suggestions. Also, be on the lookout here, maybe even tomorrow, as I post links, YouTube links and other links for you to go and listen to the music that I've selected, okay? Uh, finally, I'm also still, and then th that's all about the show reveal. Now, once again, just in closing, I'm still putting together a recruiting video for the current eighth graders, okay? If you'd like to submit a testimonial of some type, you can either upload it to Google Classroom like you did your scales, or email it to me at my school email address, ron.rogers at bluntk12.org, okay? Remember to keep it at about 30 seconds or so, okay? Once again, upload your comments about the upcoming fall marching show to Google Classrooms, and continue to think about each other as we continue to move ahead in the strangest of times, okay? Let's hope that normalcy is very, very, very near, okay? I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. And P.S., happy Mother's Day to all of our band moms out there, okay? Hope everybody has a great weekend, and I'll talk to you again in the next couple of days. Thanks a lot.